Hello, and welcome to Morse's Math Morsels. The next uh, problem is square root of 2. Show approximations as fractions. And I'm going to begin at 1.4, which is also 1 and 4 tenths, which equals 7 fifths in fractional form. Oh, so far so good. We have our 7 fifths. And let's see how close that is to 2 if we square that. The whole thing in parentheses. 7 squared is 49. 5 squared is 5. And we have 49 20 fifths, which is pretty close to 2. It's just a little under 2. If this 49 were a 50 instead, just one more, then it would be 50 over 25, which is exactly 2. Uh, alas, not quite 2. And in decimal form, this would be 1.96. 1 and Rather close to 2, but not too exactly. And it can never be too exactly. I'm just going to go back to our original fraction, 7 fifths. And some long time ago, uh, some genius, I confess I don't, don't know who it was, it was not me certainly, discovered a way of generating fractions which are closer and closer to the square root of 2, and the squares of these fractions are ever closer and closer to 2 itself. And that rule that he or she discovered was... Take the numerator, the top number, add it to the denominator, the bottom number. Put that sum in the denominator of the new fraction, in this case 12. Then, add the two existing denominators in the new and the old fraction. Put that in the numerator, 17. Now, let's check 17 twelves as a square root of 2 and see how close it is to 2 when squared. Squaring 17 twelves, do the calculations, comes out 144 in the denominator, 289 in the numerator. So divide 289 by 144, it'll be just a trifle more than 2. In fact, if that 289 were a 288, it would be exactly 2. So getting closer. You can build another fraction, kind of in the fashion of a snowball, to use an analogy, that gets still closer to the square root of 2. This smaller fraction, 7 fifths, is kind of like starting out the snowball and then building onto it. The hard part is getting it started, so I used the 1.4 approximation before. Then I'm like a jumping off point, and then you're kind of building on, much like adding layers of snow or layers of numbers. So that's where 1712 comes from. And if we use a rule for adding numerators and denominators, our next fraction will be what? Well, add the two numbers in this 1712 fraction, put that in the denominator. Then add the two existing denominators, 12 and 29, make 41. How close is that to the square root of 2? Well, if we square it, let's square this, uh, comes out 1,681 over 841. Even closer to 2 yet. The numbers are getting larger, and notice that one number just misses being exactly double the other number. The numerator is just short of being twice the denominator. I'm going to erase uh, part of the fractions, and I'm just going to write down that 41, 29 again. What's the next larger fraction? The next uh, approximation is square root of 2. Add the 41, 29, 70, add 29, 70, 99. And if you were to square this fraction, you would have a result even closer to 2. 
I'm going to build yet another faction. See, we have 169 and 239. And this can continue indefinitely. You can get as close to the square root of 2 as you like. And squaring each of these will bring you as close to 2 as you wish. Here's our next fraction. I'm just going to do one more to keep all the numbers manageable and under 4 digits. Let's see, that's going to be a 985 there. And this is going to be a 1393 up there. If we square this thing, we'll we get 19404. Now this really close to 2. 1,393 over 9 to 85 is really close to the square root of 2 because if you square it, look how close this top number is to being exactly double the number beneath. That is off by 1 and we're dealing with a quantity of almost 2 million. So that's uh, one way to uh, get closer to the square root of 2 by using fractions with the uh, ingenious little rule of adding uh, denominators for new numerator and adding the two denominators and building the fractions uh, from there and just keep going and like a snowball it rolls down a, a snow bagged hill it grows larger and larger faster and faster and going to the thousands millions however a large one wishes Thanks for viewing.